The purpose of this video is to help those who would like a little guidance in finding different reptile and amphibian species close to home here in Utah County. To do this, I have made a map along with a simple species guide list. So basically, what this list and map will do is help viewers gain a simple understanding of what species live where and how easy or difficult it would be to target each of these species. Take note that there are three different colors represented on the map. Even though Utah County is a relatively small area in comparison to the entire state, there are three separate regions, each of which greatly influences the reptile and amphibian species found in that area. I will go over each region, focusing on the species found there and how difficult or easy they are to find. The colors on the map correlate with the regions on the page. So as you can see, the region on the far left is colored yellow as to match the color of the Great Basin on the sheet. Species labeled in blue are typically easier to find in the corresponding region, while species in red are more difficult to find. However, not all red or blue species can be compared as equals when it comes to how common they are to find. For example, a desert striped whip snake is much easier to find than a regal ringneck snake, even though they are both marked as red. The Great Basin region is definitely the most productive and reliable place in the county when it comes to finding lizards. And not just because of the abundance of lizards, but also because of the diversity of the species of lizards. In the Great Basin region, it is easy to come across sagebrush lizards, side blotch lizards, Great Basin whiptails, and Great Basin fence lizards. And while they aren't as easy to find, you can still very possibly come across Great Basin collared lizards, long-nosed leopard lizards, greater shorthorn lizards, desert horned lizards, and the Great Basin skink. The Great Basin is also a great place for finding snakes, especially Great Basin gopher snakes, western yellow-bellied racers, Great Basin rattlesnakes, and water and garter snakes if you can find a water source. Some of the more uncommon but possible species of snakes include regal ringneck snakes, northern desert night snakes, Utah milk snakes, desert striped whip snakes, and long-nosed snakes. Typically the dry desert doesn't make people immediately think of amphibians, but there are amphibians to be found in the Great Basin region, especially woodhouse toads and Great Basin spadefoots. Nevertheless, I would say all the amphibian species labeled in red on this list would be very difficult to find in the Great Basin. The Utah Lake region is a stark contrast between the Great Basin and the Wasatch Mountains, not only because of the abundance of wetlands surrounding Utah Lake, but also the population within this area. So you'll notice that most of this area is filled with people, but there are still many places where you can find reptiles and amphibians. Lizards are not very common in this region, and it's not likely that you'll come across them, with maybe the exception of West Mountain. Snakes, on the other hand, can be very abundant, especially wandering garter snakes. You can also see many Great Basin gopher snakes and western yellow-bellied racers. And on a rare occasion, you can see a rattlesnake. On the other hand, there are many amphibian species that inhabit these wetland areas, especially bullfrogs and northern leopard frogs. You can also quite easily come across boreal chorus frogs, Columbia spotted frogs, woodhouse toads, and Great Basin spadefoots. And now the Wasatch Mountains. You can find lizards in the Wasatch Mountains, but they won't be as abundant as the Great Basin. You can very easily count on coming across sagebrush lizards and side blotch lizards, with the possibility of greater shorthorn lizards, Great Basin skinks, Great Basin whiptails, and the desert horn lizard. Snakes are interesting in the Wasatch Mountains because you find a lot more species that you wouldn't find in the other two regions, such as rubber boas and smooth green snakes. However, both of these are quite uncommon to find. The more common species to find are similar to the other regions and include the wandering garter snake, Great Basin gopher snake, western yellow-bellied racer, and Great Basin rattlesnake. As far as amphibians go, boreal chorus frogs become quite common as you get into the high mountains. You can also find northern leopard frogs. Tiger salamanders can be easy to find if you know specific areas to look, otherwise they can be difficult to find. 
The same goes with Columbia Spotted Frogs and Boreal Toads. I mentioned a lot of species today, and if you want some help in identifying species, I've actually made a series on all the species of reptiles and amphibians in Utah, and I'll link those at the end of this video. If this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel so you could see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.